Right, hello and welcome to the demonstration part of our presentation. First, we are going to test the web interface of our portal. In the first, we are going to log in as an agency, that is agency 1, and attempt to create an event that can be later bet on. So you see this very, very simple user interface. We choose the event management. Uh, we create an event, let's say test event 2. Let's say it has like a 4.54 F for odds, and we pick a date, the 12th of May 2011. Then we proceed to add the event. We can see that the event was created successfully. And the test event 2 appears here in a bettable state. Now we log out from the agency home and we will log in as a client. So now we log in as a client. This is client 1, pass 1, 2, 3, 4, and we log in. We will proceed to create a bet, and here you can see that test event 2 is a uh, bet table. Now we will create a bet on that. We decide that we are going to bet 200 euros, and that this bet will be on this date. Now we have the bet that is in an undefined state. To generate a result for this bet, we have to use the web service that will call the generate results for the events. We have called the web service using the SOAP UI 361, we can see that the, the generation was successful. And now let's refresh this page and see whether we have win or lost. Well, we have no luck, we lost this bet and the 200 euros with it. To test the web service interface of our project, we use the SOAP UI 361. For example, we have a service that provides us with all the bad table events. So that's that. Get all bad table events. We call this service and it returns with a description of the events that can be bet on. That could be my new event, my new event 2, test event 1 and test event 2 that are in a bettable state. We can also query, for example, the balance of any client. Let's say we are client 1 and this is our password. Let's see how many money do we have. We call the web service and we see that we have 800 euros on our account. Right now we are going to try and deposit money on our, on our account. So let's say again that we are client 1 and our password is pass1234 the amount that we would like to deposit, let's say 30,000 and in euros. So, this is going to take a while because the currency exchange calls uh, an external web service, but as you can see, it was fairly fast in our case. Now, Let's query our balance again and let's see if the deposit has indeed 
uh, taken its effect. Uh, we can still see here that our last query returned 800 euros as our current balance. So let's see now if we have successfully deposited our money and we can see that we have now 30,800 euros on our balance. So this web service seemingly works well. Now we are going to see whether the business logic that is available through the web service is indeed the same business logic that we can access via the uh, web interface. For that we are going to try and create a new event using agency1. So here you can see that we use the username agency1 which has a very sophisticated password pass1234 and we are going to create uh, an event whose description is vs event 2 the odds are going to be set to 4.2 and the date will be 2010 uh, yeah so now if we run this uh, if we call this web service we are going to get the event ID back which means that the event is successfully created but we are going to check this using the web interface so we log in as agency one again entering our very sophisticated password pass1234 and login now what we are should we should be seeing in the event management is that the vs event 2 is indeed created with a 4.2 odds so that's what we are going to check out and indeed the vs event 2 is created with the odds and it's in a battable state so we can see that the business logic is uh, available through all two interfaces the web service interface and the web interface through the browser right so now we are going to demonstrate the functioning of the business rule management system based agency for this we have created a very simple SVT based user interface where we must enter the agency data that is we will use agency one and the password is still pass1234 and by pushing the publish button we are going to trigger the generation of the battable events well now this is going to take some time in the meanwhile we can go and check on the console of the Eclipse development environment so now we can see that a lot has happened here basically what happened was um, the agency queried the events that uh, that are on the football pool web service and create created debatable events in our um, portal so now what we have here is that it generated indicators it published and it had published seven events we are going to check this using the same in the, the web interface agency one what we should see is seven new events and indeed we see the seven new events here the well it, it is obvious from the descriptions that the events were retrieved from the web service uh, that that we use that the the football dot data access dot eu and the odds were calculated uh, based on the statistics 
of this same web service. All right, so now we have the events that are created by our agency, and now we are going to run the web portal broker on behalf of client one. So what we're going to do is enter the client one username and the password, and we are going to try and create some bets. When the background, you can see that is it is now getting the backable events. This could take a while, but I hope that it will finish very soon. In the meantime, what you can see here, as we are, we are logged in as client one, that it has already created some bets and we have already generated some results for these bets. Some of these uh, are winning bets, some of these are lost bets. What we should see here after the bet portal broker ran is that we have some new bets whose state is undefined. Well, currently the bet table events are being fetched and as I said earlier this really can take some time because um, we are using the web services. Oh yes, now getting our games, that means that uh, we get the statistics from the food.data.access.eu and now it is creating the bets. Let's see. Yeah, so now you can see that our balance in the first place was 3000 uh, euros approximately and we can check that the new bets are indeed created using the web interface. Yes, what you can see here right now is that we have the new, newly created bets by our broker and now we will generate Results, results for these bets using the generate button. What we can, what you can see here is that the generation of the results has indeed been successful, and our new balance is fourteen thousand euros. Unbelievable! If we push a refresh here, we can see that the state of the bets has changed. Now it's uh, either won or lost. So that's about it. I hope you have enjoyed this screen has screencast and have found it educational. And see you later maybe.